You have come, good. We stand in a ground once hallowed beyond all things, now tainted by the excommunication of my people. Ever since that terrible day when arrogance and desperation brought about the disfavor of the gods, my followers have tended this place. Now come. We shall go to the antechamber of the Hyperion, the very spot where the sins of the Colossi were answered. The antechamber is the flawed design of Arches. It was the means by which he sought to force the Hyperion to join the city. It was to do so using the spark of divine magic Athene placed into each of us, that these fragments combined to create a force equal to that of a god. Such power was never meant to be wielded by the unworthy. The energies struck back at Arches, and the many assembled in his chamber, killing them. The end of this awaits. Much was ruined in that dark hour. The magics holding the paths together were unbound. Only the cipher can reorder such magics. Press ahead and set the path. Muro was to celebrate the great triumph of my people. When the city floats, it is nothing without the Hyperion at its heart. If you were curious, I could tell you more. The mural you see before us is meant to represent the triumph of my people. But all I see is a broken promise. The mural depicts the great sanctification my people have undergone. We were never to ascend past the brutish people you see depicted. Yet here we are now. Thanks to the will of the gods and their tests of valor. But now that they've fallen silent, what awaits us? I know the answer already. Regression. The end of this awaits. Again, we find the way barred. I'm afraid I need your help once more. The antechamber waits. The end of this awaits.
We have reached it. Beyond that stone is the Hyperion, the gift of the gods. The symbol of a covenant concluded. It rests out of reach, waiting for the day when the gods forgive our trespass, when they find us worthy again. Until now, I feared such a day would not come. We should begin. The gods visited this room once before. It seems only fit that you occupy their position. I will take my place where Arceus once stood. Long before, Arceus dared grasp the power of the gods and was judged according to his impudence. We act now as their analogues. When you, the gods, visit this chamber once more, you shall stand where they appeared and made manifest their wrath. And I shall stand where Arceus stood and bore the brunt of their imminent will. Come, Beckant. Please, Beckant, I have taken my place, but you must also take yours. To them, after all this time, I bear witness to their confirmation. You have done so well, Beckoned, to bring the cipher to me and to let me use its strength. With you, I can do what Arceus could not command the Hyperion. This chamber harnesses the magic needed to control the Hyperion. Before you appeared with the cipher, no force was sufficient. I knew that when we first met, when I first sensed the cipher, that I could unseal the Hyperion and command its power. Why else would the gods furnish you, whom I needed most in my lowest hour? The gods have found my people unworthy of the gifts offered us. So... Using the Hyperion, I will see Idilla destroyed. The wicked will be purged. And once the city falls, I will reforge the ruins in an image the gods find acceptable. I'm sorry, Beckon, but you must be a martyr for my cause. <laughs>
Beckoned. What has happened? Why are Anakatos's acolytes attacking us? What is he doing with the Hyperion? Destroy Idilla? No. That zealous fool! Have the loss of his gods driven him to such despair to use the Beckoned and the Cypher for such ends? We must make our way from this place. We cannot stop Anakatos from here. Take this shield. One of my soldiers dropped it when the silent choir ambushed us. I hope it protects you better. How if we cannot reach him? And we can do nothing to stop him if his worshippers kill us here. We must make for the surface, and hope that there is time enough for us to deal with him. Be cautious in these lands. Anakatos has sealed himself in with the Hyperion, and his silent choir will lay down their lives for him. I... I do not know what to do, Beckoned. 
I have defended my people from beasts and disasters, but nothing like this. Of course, I will not let Anakatos destroy my people because he believes the gods demand it. I know we have the strength we need inside of us, despite his claims. We are worth saving, even if the gods disagree. But Anakatos has sealed himself in the Hyperion antechamber. Without the cipher and knowledge of the Hyperion, we are lost. Anakatos was clever by exploiting your power. The cipher must be the key to unlocking the Hyperion. And he has broken it in his plan. But that is the one thing my people have been unable to do since we first came here. Only the Primos would know enough about the riddle for us to even try. Anakatos and his silent choir had a monastic retreat in the wilderness, Nixaros. If we need his knowledge, we best start our search there. It is an old portion of the city that was never raised up. It was supposed now it is the refuge of Anakatos' silent choir. The complex rests where it was first carved, in the mountains of the teeth. Very well. We cannot waste time. There does not appear to be much here, but we have to be thorough. We should try near the Shrine of Athene. Anakatos prizes her above all else. I would wager he keeps his secrets with her. Farewell.
beckoned. Not time. Seek. Primus. Below. make this record in penance for my disappointment of the supreme goddess Athene, in hopes that I may return to her favor. So Hold a moment. These are bodies of Colossi. What are they doing here? Wait. I... I recognize some faces. Belfron. Amandia. These were great Colossi all. All viable competitors for the role of Primos. At one time or another, I do not like the implications of this. What has Anakatos wrought? Farewell. Trespassers, you are too late. The council already lies dying in the torture chambers, and the Jotun slaves will soon be butchered as the master ordered. Come, brothers and sisters, let us deal with these curs. I found this in our struggle. No doubt some form of torture device. But your strength can apply it for good. Now to decipher what the cultists said. But there are also the slaves. They will be killed if we don't save them. But if the council is dying, we must choose who we see to first. The council must be important. Something that could help us find a flaw in his plan, perhaps. Or learn more about the cipher in the Hyperion. I do not believe so. The council is dying if Anakatos' dogs are to be believed, and the slaves are to be executed. I... I am unsure who we should be trying to help, but you are the beckoned of Athene. I must defer this choice to you. So decide. Do we go to the slave pens and help the slaves? Or do we go to the torture chambers to try to find Anakatos' council before it dies? Farewell. Finally, the day has come. The wait has been long and nearly unbearable. But at last, 
You are here. Before my strength has fled me. Ever since the day I brought ruin to my people. I thought this burden was my punishment. It seems I have not survived for my sake. But for yours, it is a joy to see you beckoned. I have much to tell you, and I do not have much time left. I am Arches. Once, once, I was the Primos of the Colossi, but no longer. It is what Anokatos calls me, for though his faith runs deep, his knowledge of the god's will is malformed. You must have seen the travesties this false prophet has wrought in the name of my people. And now, the Hyperion is his. We must focus on the Hyperion. The gods brought you here because you can answer the riddle of my people's fate. You, and you alone. Yes, you and it both. For without you, the cipher cannot be of use. And without it, your power cannot be harnessed. For the riddle of my people's future is one the gods themselves cannot answer. Fate is obeyed by all. By all. Except for you. The power to change fate. That is the role of the beckoned to serve the gods and unbind my people. But Anokato's schemes, though he will not receive the favor of Athene, he is not ready for the Hyperion. He will bring destruction. Oh, it is too soon, but I have left the answers long before. Find Sikandra. Ask her about our last day. And tell her I am sorry. Arches. I never... I had always... He had died. He had died years ago when the gods rebuked him and our people. It is... it was truth. Anakatos had him alive and tortured. I thought... I watched him die years before. All that was left of him was a circlet. A circlet. Our last day. The day... could it mean the last day that I saw him? The last day we spoke, before the Hyperion tragedy, he asked me to escort him through the wilds, to the shrines outside the city, the shrines of earth and air. He... he told me to remember them when times seemed bleak. I thought nothing of it, but could... could he have known? About this. About now. I... I once thought that faith was what would ruin my people. The thing that would distract them from their happiness. But I see now. It is apathy. To not care for our people, that is Anakatos' sin. As I thought, it was our cases before him. But... This is so much larger. Larger than I ever thought, an Arches. He always knew that I would be here. He must have always known. 
The task is clear. We need to... Ah! My head. Can you feel it? Something... Something is wrong. This magic... This magic... Anakatos has done something. We must return to the city. We might... We might be too late. Something... Something grave has happened. I can feel it in my body. I fear... Anakatos may have accomplished his goal. Very well. In the youth of Amalur lived the Uranos, existing from the hill lands alone. They held not the blessings of the gods, and so were blinded to their own potential. The city seems intact, but still, the Henge has already become disrupted. Anakatos has sealed us from the city. It is only a matter of time before he finds a way to destroy Idilla. We must find what Arke spoke of, and quickly. Arkes requested specifically that we go to the shrines of earth and air on the last day we spent together. There are two sites in the wilderness, touched by the gods, one in the peaks of the teeth and the other in its canyon. These were called the shrines of earth and air. I thought nothing of them, but Arkes knew. He must have known this day would come when we needed them. Yes, I was young, but a talented guard. He asked me to escort him personally. I cannot say for sure, but there is more than coincidence here. That Arke showed these places to me, that he mentioned them as he... died. But we have little else to act on, and with every moment the chance of Anakatos's calamity occurring grows greater. It rests in the teeth of Naros, but south of the Hyperion and the city. It is nestled between the great crags of rock that make these mountains. Be cautious in these lands. What can I do? These... 
I doubt that anyone has walked these halls since they were first shaped. I wonder if the words Arke spoke were true. I do not know for sure. When Arkes came here with me years before, he said this of the Earth Shrine. The Earth is dark and heavy, and dangers hide unseen. Accept the light in darkness, for it knows the way. A light in this gloom is welcome, but I would not wander too far off the path. Be cautious in these lands. Something feels strange, Beckoned. When you harnessed the Earth Shrine, my limbs never held more strength. You look more whole, and I can feel the magic pouring through this land already. We must be close. The Hyperion waits. It waits in the higher peaks of the Teeth of Naros. But I have a feeling that Anakatos knew that we would find them. I don't know how easy this will become, but we have to keep going. Farewell.
Something feels strange, Beckoned. When you harnessed the Earth Shrine, my limbs never held more strength. You look more whole, and I can feel the magic pouring through this land already. We must be close. The Hyperion. Farewell. Time is 
at hand. The path opens once more. To think that all this time we had the answer to the Hyperion below our feet. That our road to Anakatos forced us to solve this riddle. Seems more than coincidence. I cannot say for sure it is different from the Earth Shrine. This place is thin and cold. But I remember the words R.K. said. To harness the air, you must walk on the wind. Somehow this shrine will make that true. Farewell. Is it?
The cipher is whole again. As are you. We can unseal the Hyperion that we might stop Anakatos. And we've done so much more. I thought this all was to bring Anakatos to his judgment. But I was wrong. There is much more at stake here. Communing with the Hyperion beneath the city. We have to stop him while we still can. How long have we left Anakatos to his task? And Idilla still rests. What is he doing? Farewell. Listen, what can I do? Farewell.
can I do?
finally come. For the good of my people. It is time we beckoned Mad and fulfilled our roles. You are not so ignorant as that. You are the avatar of Athene herself. I thought you had been sent to purge my people of their limitations, and I was right. But their chief limitation is not sin. It is fate. It is the fate of my people that must be changed, not their piety. That is what stands between us and grace. Our ordained savagery. With the Hyperion and the Cypher, Athene granted me some understanding of her work. The Hyperion augments a certain kind of magic, your own. When you shift fate before it, it amplifies that through the Cypher and across all my people. She has taught me much while we talked, Beckoned. How I can truly serve my people by dying for them. Yes, because I stand for the parts of my people that must be purged. <laughs> Their savagery and violence. Once I thought my crimes just and necessary. If the gods could not abide them, surely I would find no success with such means. But I was beckoned to this nature, as you were to yours. Kill me before the Hyperion and all will be freed of their ignobility. Feel Balan's embrace. Witness my Let us finish this. You are not. It is the fate of my people that without that she has taught me much. Yeah, what, but. Uh, uh, uh. Feel my 
wrath. Witness my strength. Finally come, for the good of my people. It is time we beckoned mad and fulfilled our... You are... I it is the fate of my people that must be... Without... She has taught me much while we... Yeah, what, but...
You've... you've done it. Anakatos has been killed. But that energy that came from you, it raised the Hyperion. Without its magic to support the structure, this whole temple is coming down. We need to get out of here. Very well. Is done at last. The fate of Anakatos, the surrogate of all the Colossi's savagery, has been shifted. And as his fate was shifted, so was the fate of all the Colossi. Gone is the taint of savagery and barbarism. Finished, second. Thou alone could do this, and as thou aided me, I am forever grateful. Thou hast freed this people. Thee, Anakatos, Arches, Beckoned, all, and the last, your faithful companion, Sikandra, I beckon now. Her people need a leader for the glory that lies ahead. Sikandra will be Primos. What is it? We... we made it. And... and you've seen what has happened. The Hyperion soars within our city. We can never thank you fully for your strength. This armor is ancient, hallowed and strong. Much like yourself beckoned. Take it. You have given us so much. I see the compassion and the influence the gods have had in my people's lives. My life. All along. What Arke said to me on our last day together. What Athene said as we escaped the Hyperion Temple just now. These are no accidents. Your arrival. Our meeting. Anakatos' betrayal and finding Arke's. These events were crafted intent. I see that now. And as you were beckoned to save my people, now I am beckoned to lead them. But I don't know. I don't know if I can. She did. There is a legacy that I have left to fulfill, or so the goddess says. An old promise. But I mean to keep it. I... I may for a time... But only until there is one more suitable to lead. I have no taste for the office. But while I can, I should give this to you. No reward could truly thank you for your service. But we must try nonetheless. 
Now, let us return to the city together, Beckoned. Let us see the fruits of your labor. Be cautious in these lands.